Hey, it's Belay, and we're gonna talk about gear real quick. Specifically, we're gonna talk about sleeping bags. Um, if you're signing up for a trip with BHB um, and you're looking at getting your own gear, I 100% support that. Um, what I support even more is uh, making sure you spend your money on the perfect item. And a sleeping bag is probably one of the most important items in your backpack. So we're gonna talk just for a few minutes about sleeping bags. When you go to the store, when you're online shopping, you're gonna see that there's pretty much two different types of sleeping bags. You have down sleeping bags and you have synthetic sleeping bags. Um, down is known for its warmth, its compressibility, um, and its price. So down sleeping bags are typically warmer than synthetic. Um, uh, they 100% compress better, all right? So if space is of, of a concern, uh, down compresses better. Um, if warmth is of a concern, down is typically warmer. Um, and if price is of no concern, then down might be better as well. Um, down is a feather-like material that comes from birds and it works off of loft, okay? So um, that loft, when it spreads and fills the sleeping bag, traps all the air and keeps you warm. Um, with that being said, when, that, when, those, when the down gets wet and the loft collapses, um, is down's um, not so good side. Uh, it, it doesn't work as well. So that's when synthetic comes in. So synthetic sleeping bags, um, they are warm, right? They might not be as warm as down, but they definitely are warm. Some of my warmest winter jackets are synthetic. Um, and when it gets wet, you don't have to worry about that down collapsing. Um, it's gonna keep you warm even when it's wet. So the protosynthetic is its ability to continue to work even in damp and wet environments. Uh, synthetic does not compress like down. It's gonna take up more space in your bag. Um, synthetic is also substantially cheaper than down. So if you're having to go buy a lot of gear right now and you need to budget wisely, synthetic might be your best option because it is warm, it will work in wet and damp environments, and it is um, budget friendly. So you, here's the thing, you have two different kinds of bags, they both have their benefits and they both have their consequence. And I feel, um, I feel like what one's weakness is, is the other one's strength, all right? Down, super warm, compresses really nicely, uh, really expensive. Um, synthetic, um, it's warm, it's, de it's gonna keep you warm. Uh, you might have to buy a colder weather bag, but it's definitely gonna keep you warm. Um, it doesn't compress well, but it's pretty friendly on the, the budget, um, the pocketbook. So those are your big differences right there. Now, a great, um, a great compromise to this is sleeping bags that have a blend of both down and synthetic so like for example mine the greatest sleeping bag i've ever owned and i will preach this sleeping bag until the day i die until i find a better one is the north face blue kazoo it's a synthetic blend it's a synthetic down blend um it's rated at 20 degrees and when i first bought it it's several years old now but when i first bought it it was very true to that claim. I find that most sleeping bags are very generous on their end. They say it's rated to like, you know, 20 degrees, but you'll be cold in it at 40. And I do understand that, you know, when they tell you 30 degrees or 20 degrees or 10 degrees, most of the time they're telling you what you can survive in, okay? Not what you'll be comfortable in. So know that when you go buy a sleeping bag, when you see that degree, sometimes they're not telling you what's comfortable. They're telling you, hey, you'll survive in this. So if you are a cold sleeper, I would even go 
maybe a lower temp than what you are, what you're looking at. Um, a lot of uh, sleeping bag manufacturers have um, realized that people know that about the measurements and so, or the temperature. So now they're starting to put in survival temp, comfort temp, um, an extreme temp, right? So they're starting to give you multiple temperatures on the sleeping bag. Um, I personally never, ever, ever, ever buy any sleeping bag that's rated over 30 degrees. No. The blue kazoo is 20 degrees. My last one was zero degrees. One, I'm a cold sleeper. Two, nights get colder than what you think, especially on mountaintops. So when you go out and you buy your sleeping bag, whether it's for the Vermont Long Trail or Big Bend National Park or uh, the Natchez Trace, um, which of, uh, I would look at 20 degrees or cooler. I think going anything colder than zero is a little excessive, but um, I see nothing wrong with going for 10 degrees, um, 20 degrees. If you're gonna do a 30 degree bag, then maybe um, invest in a sleeping bag liner. Um, and then if you sleep really, really warm at night, then just open up that sleeping bag, unzip it, um, lay on top of it, um, sleep in your liner. Um, I would look at the 20 degree range. So uh, there you go. Big differences between down and synthetic. What are you after? Are you after compressibility? Are you after the warmth factor? Um, is cost um, a factor of yours? Um, you know, I personally like the blends. Um, and then the last thing to think about, and this is just a tip for the future. Remember, down works off of lot, okay? So you're gonna compress it into your backpack, okay? When you get to camp at night, the very first item you should take out and lay out is your down sleeping bag, all right? Because you want those feathers to loosen up and to loft before you get inside of it. Uh, synthetic sleeping bag, you don't have to worry about that, all right? You don't have to worry about the loft in a synthetic sleeping bag. You can just throw it out one minute before you get to bed and you'll be fine. But a down sleeping bag, make sure it's the very first item you take out at night and you let those feathers uh, work its magic. Um, I see a lot of people breaking out the sleeping bags um, right before they go to bed. It's pointless if it's a down sleeping bag. Um, give it time. So anyways, there you go. Uh, by the way, my blue kazoo, I got on sale for $120. Best sleeping bag I've ever had. Uh, sleeping bags can go up to like $800, even more. Um, I would say on average though, on average, you're looking at 120 to maybe low 300s, all right? But shop for the deals. I would go blend. I would go no warmer, right? Don't go above 20 degrees, stay at 20 or 10, 30 max. Um, also, make sure it's fitted to your height, okay? If you're a five foot individual, your sleeping bag is going to be different than a six foot individual and this matters so much because at nighttime, your body is having to heat up the air inside the sleeping bag, okay? The more space you're having to heat up, um, the colder you're gonna be for a little while. So if you're 5'5", five, five, make sure you get a sleeping bag that is for your height. If you're six foot, make sure you get a sleeping bag um, for your height. You also don't want your feet and your head to be touching the ends, okay? Because when that happens, let's just think about down real quick. If your feet or your body is compressing on the sleeping bag, then you're killing that loft. You're killing that warmth, all right? So height matters. The size of your sleeping bag matters when you go buy it. Um, you want to um, minimize the space around you so your body doesn't have to heat up the air around you as much. Um, but you also don't want to be so tight that you're pressing against those sleeping bag walls and killing the down, all right? So things to think about. Women, go for a, women, a woman's sleeping bag, all right? 
Women's sleeping bags are known to be wider at the hips because we have wider hips. This is important. If you get into a man's sleeping bag, your hips might be compressing against or pressing up against the sleeping bag size, killing the down and killing your warmth. So women, if you have the option to go women specific, I recommend it because it'll keep you warmer at night. Um, it's made for you. So those are some things to think about. Um, watch this video over and over again if you need it. But remember, um, you're looking at two different kinds. I prefer the blend. Uh, make sure your temperature is 30 degrees, 20 degrees, 10 degrees around that area. Uh, make sure you're gender specific if you can. Make sure that it is um, the right height, the right size for you. Um, yeah, and you're looking at about $120 to $300, I would say. The deals are out there. You just got to go find them. I recommend North Face Blue Kazoo. Best bag I've ever owned.